Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So I'm doing an account review today, something I haven't done in quite a long time. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at Xavier's account. And I normally, I used to do this, uh, I, I wouldn't say a lot, but a little bit. Um, I always do these, I just haven't been getting a request to, to do them. So yesterday I actually took a look at his account and um, basically I asked him to go into... Um, Go, go into seabed caves and farm farm me some gems farm me some four star gems um, I guess I guess I guess he has some but not not a lot which is which is all right it's it's uh, it's it's uh, it's perfectly fine um, I just want him to collect some four star gems so I can actually have some something to work with and a little bit of gold so I can upgrade his gems to try to see if we can build a team um, that can beat any of the, the dungeons that we're going to try to beat today. Alright, so uh, first things first, we're going to be taking a look at his monster box. This I think this will be pretty helpful for players that are like around mid-game. Um, he's only around level 34, so he doesn't really have a team for like any of the higher golem dungeons. And he's mostly just like farming story map. He did happen to pull a Light Valk, which is pretty amazing. Like, you're only level 30 something. Like, it, as you can see, he's not level 45, so it's, it's not from the contract. He actually picked Odin from the contract. Um, but he, he does have a Light Valk, so that's that's uh, that's pretty sick. Um, and and he also has some event monsters, like the Yetis, the, the Kanas, the Seras, although they he can only make them evil too which I guess isn't really that bad. They might still be somewhat usable like for, for mid game, um, but not really worth it to like six star and stuff. You might, you might be better off six starring like um, evil three, three star monsters. Now, before, before we, uh, before we actually gem up the monsters, there, there is something I, I think, um, something I mentioned before, but I think will be very, very interesting to especially players that are around um, his level. Um, and that is, that farmable three-star monsters, well actually not just farmable three-star monsters, but most three-star monsters, if you take a look at their evil three stats, it's actually better than a lot of the four-star, uh, like four-star evil two stats of a lot of monsters. So we just take a look at like, this is a balance type monster, um, you know, at max stats, it's at, it's at 27k, 2100, and then 2000. And then if you take a look at like, you know, Water Nike, for example, at evil two, um, and 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 six stars, you'll see that like she has much much less HP. Well, then she is an attacker. I think I should take a balanced. Uh, who, who's a balanced monster? Is there no balanced water attacker tank balanced? All right, this 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 is balanced. So yeah, you can you can see that. Um, you know, the the Seedler, which is like a 3-star at Evil 3, actually has better stats than the Evil 2 4-star. If you take a look over here. Um, so, and and Seedlers aren't even that strong. Like, their their stats aren't even as good. Um, a, while, a while back, they buffed the stats for farmable 3-star monsters. So farmable 3-star monsters actually have better stats than, um, than even some of the Evil 2 Nat 5s. So if you take a look at, um, take a look at, I guess, I guess everybody's favorite, um, I guess we'll use Water Miho. I was going to use Water Mona, but Miho's fine as well. Like, she's a balance type. She has 31k, um, 2000, 2000. And then if you take a look at, like, um, if you take a look at, I guess, who, who, who's balanced? Water Arthur. Actually, no, Water Arthur's stats are rigged. They, they, like... They rigged his stats. They just made his stats slightly higher than everybody else, just for, for some weird reason. Um, she has, you know, the, the Miho has a lot more HP, but like, you know, if you if you count this times ten, like six hundred, and you add this all together, she pr pretty much has around the same amount of stats as uh, as as like a Water Wukong. That's like evil too. So like a lot of farmable, a, f a lot of farmable monsters that you can get on the map, um, actually have increased stats. Which makes them a lot more more powerful than than even like four star. Or they they are like more powerful than evil two five stars. Um, but they're and they're also like definitely stronger than evil two four stars. So you want to actually take advantage of that and use those instead instead of like um, any other monsters that you you might consider using unless those monsters have very very unique skill sets. Now the other thing I wanted to um, 
The other thing I wanted to talk about is the, the use of Nat 5s. Um, you can, you, as you can see, he has a whole bunch of Nat 5s. So if you're watching this now, um, you can actually use a lot of your Nat 5s to help you clear through certain, certain um, dungeon stages. And you, if you decide to, you can actually use them to farm certain dungeon stages. Now, mm, would, I, would I recommend this? Well, the thing is, if you wanted to progress the fastest way possible, there, there really is only one way. Like, there, the, the, like this is like the cookie, cookie cutter way. It's just, you go to Pagos Coast, you clear through normal mode, you clear through hard mode, you clear to extreme mode. Um, probably everybody has heard this like a hundred times before. You go to this stage, you go to the the, the, uh, the XP stage, and you just keep farming until you have like a whole bunch of water monos, and you just raise like a full water team. The reason why you use a full water team is because this stage is fully fire, and there's only one water, and it also drops water monas here, and it also gives you conviction gems, which are pretty good for um, like golems B, B7 and um, B9. So conviction gems are also really really nice to use, and they also um, yeah, and also they're they're like they're like attackers. Like I think I think well actually no they're not they're not all attackers. This one's an attacker. Uh, it's two defenders, one attacker. But this one's like a this one's only like a one star, so it actually has like less stats. So even if you don't have elemental advantage against it, you can still do a lot of damage to it because it's not as strong as the other two star monsters. So basically it's like you have like full elemental advantage um, against this map. And you do this so you have like a whole bunch of water monsters and then you go into Golems V8. Uh, wait, Golems not here anymore. You go to Golems V8 and you just, you basically just throw in like a full water team and you just use that to farm this stage. Now, there's two things you can do while you're at when you're at this point of the game, um, and one of them, one of the things I recommend doing is actually taking advantage of the nat fives that you happen to pull, um, especially water nat fives. I think if you have like a whole bunch of water nat fives, you can actually um, use those nat fives to start farming Pagos Coast, and start building up your your monas, and then once you get a lot of monas, you can um, build them to evil three get them to five stars max level and then maybe even six star one of them and then start start farming b8 um alternatively if you don't want to do that and you want to you know be different do something else you can also go do b7 um b7 is a little bit slower but you know you happen to have a whole bunch of wood monsters so using wood against b7 is actually not it's not too bad um because you happen to have like self sustainers like arthur and uh and Garuda, and then you have like the purse for sapping. So all you really need to do is like put in a healer, and uh, and it it really just becomes like a really stable team. I think that, like if you just use this like with Siren temporarily, I'm pretty sure this team could do it. It it might not be very fast though. That's 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 the issue here, um, because B7 is a defender type, and if you take a look at B8, B8 is a an attacker type. So basically, if you nuke him really hard, he he just dies in two turns. So you can kill them really, really fast. Um, while going through your monsters, I actually took a look at your your uh, your inventory, and um, I noticed that a lot of monsters that you in the future you might be using for B10 don't actually have square slots, like the Light Nike. Um, you know, Water Mona you can use. You can raise a new water. Oh, this Water Miho is very good. It's a it's a triple square. Definitely recommend raising that. Um, you can also temporarily use water lat, but you might not n really need to use it because you have some like water nat fives, and then you also have this water Mona. You also have this water Miho to raise, so that's already like a team already put together. If you want to use that for for B eight, um, so yeah, uh, let me let me let me go through the game plan. Like what what I would actually recommend doing if you want if you want the uh, the optimal way to progress. What I would do is I would temporarily use these two. I would try to get two more gleams, make her evil three as well, because she's also a very nice water monster. And you can temporarily use these two um, and level your Mona and your Miho at the same time while you while you're farming Pagos Coast. And at this at this point, um, you, it drops both Monas and Mihos from the rare and super rare. So you can use the Mihos to raise your water Miho to evil three. Use the Monas to raise your Mona to evil three. And um, once you have more Monas, you can start raising a second Mona as well to replace some of your Nat fives. Because if you take a look at the stats of like um, water Mona versus water Valk, I compared this a lot of times before. Um, you'll see that an evil three water Mona actually has like better stats than a than a water Valk at evil two. 
Um, then again, the Water Falcon's Predator. But then the Mona has Morale Boost, so I guess Morale Boost still wins. Um, it's like 2,700, and then you like take a look at the Mona. I guess the other two stats don't really matter. It's just mostly about the attack stat. But if you take a look at overall stats, the Mona is still is actually still higher. Where is she? Oh wait, no, these are four stars. Now, why is it so difficult to find the Mona? All right, she's right here. Oh wait, this one you already have at Evil Three. She has like 2,800, um, and around the same same HP and defense. Like recovery doesn't really matter. It's a it's a useless stat anyways. So you know you can definitely just use her to replace any other of your nat fives in the future as well so you can you can use this chance to level up your water mona level um get more mihos for your your water miho and then start raising these two at the same time at the same time you can farm a lot of more a lot more monas and start raising like a second water mona and basically just save up a lot of monas and see if you can get one with like triple square and then if you can do that then it'll make your life like super super easy in the future um So yeah, let's uh, let's actually let's let's try this out. Let's try this out. It might not work too well because, like, I want to see how fast you can you can farm this. Is your your Mona's a variant, right? Yeah, that's perfect because she has the attack lead for water monsters. So uh, that's 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 exactly what we need. Let's go like this, and then you can use the same team for B8 once you get their gens and um, their levels up. Like once you get your water. Mona and Miho both to like 5 star max. You can use that for B8. This should this should uh this should farm it pretty easily. I, I didn't actually see the gems that are on the Mona and the Miho, so I'm not too sure. But even if they die, the, the Valk and the uh the Odin should be able to finish up this stage, no problem. Um as for gems, you really if you have them at like five star max level with the uh, with the attack lead, and you're using like all attackers, and especially if you skill up your water miho, just go with like triple attack. Just just you don't need to worry about defense at all because like the the units on B A are so squishy. Plus the boss is also so squishy that you can basically just nuke them down. So um, just like just like all attack gems, <laughs> just go straight out straight out full attack. Um, just use some like four star attack gems and raise them to like plus 12 and just use that for b8 and they don't even need to have good sub stats basically as long as they have the right main stats it's good if you have any bonus sort of like a little bit of hp or something um, it, it could be useful resistance also isn't too useful in b8 because of how fast you're going to be killing the units although it you know in certain situations it does it would help a lot if you if you're like going to be taking hits but ideally you want to do so much damage that you just uh, you just straight out kill them uh, i think the mona and miho are only 3 stars right now that's why they're they're significantly weaker and they also don't have gems, so definitely I'll definitely try to gem them up. Um, and especially the Miho, like I can, you can very very easily replace her gems in the future because she's triple square. So once you start farming B8, um, you're gonna have a lot better gems than than right now. As for gems, um, I think. I think you don't need to keep a lot of the, the gems that you have, like resist isn't really useful. Um, like even if though it's a 6 star gem like this, these two gems are just not not really all that good. Um, you really, there's no situation where you need to use a, use a resist gem. My recommendation is that you sell them. I guess I can leave it to you. You know what, I'ma just do it for you, just resist is just no, alright. Um, <laughs> Okay, also flat, um, flat 5 star gems you don't really need to use. Flat 6 star gems you, you could uh, use in certain situations, but flat 5 star gems are really not that useful because um, if you raise your monsters to like evil 3, like if they're like evil 3 3 stars at, um, at 5 stars max level, then the, the, the use of uh, percent is actually going to outscale the, the, the use of flat stats, um, even if you're comparing a 4 star to a, to a 5 star gem. So we're gonna 
I mean, this this thing has pretty good sub stats, but then again, like you don't need to really need like a crit rate, crit damage, because you you don't have a lot of crit on your other gems anyways. You can't really push up the sub stats, and um, you know the sub stats of like lower tier gems actually give less stats as well. So it's not really it's not really all that worth using. My recommendation is like even if you're just using something like this that has like no sub stats, it's still it's still okay. Like it doesn't doesn't really um, doesn't really matter that much. So we're just gonna jump up this Miho with uh, as much as much attack as we can. Dang, we only have like three attack gems, but we can actually use use this uh, flat. Actually, wait, is it worth it? Actually, her base attack isn't that high. This could be worth it. I would actually use this, like a flat six star gem temporarily. You could you could replace this very easily in the future as well. All right, we're gonna go with a broken set Miho use that six star gem basically uh, just like use these three gems get them to like you don't need to make any replacements honestly if even if you have like a full set or a conviction set it doesn't really matter that much because um, because you're gonna replace them very very soon once you start farming b8 so I would just actually just upgrade them you know a tiny bit now Probably just get to plus 12 so you can like farm a little bit faster with a little bit more attack. Don't think it's a waste of gold to um, upgrade the gems that you need to. I think a lot of people actually make this mistake. They try to like hold back. They think that, you know, if I waste my gold upgrading a four star gem, it's not really worth it. Um, if it helps you progress and it helps you progress faster, then it's definitely worth it because in the, in the time that you, you saved, um, farming, you could have farmed more resources, you could have went back and slimed more and gotten more astrogens. So you don't have to think of it like that. You can actually, um, you know, if you if you progress faster and you're farming more efficiently, it actually pays off in the future. It's just, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like investing, you know, just you, you invest today and then you will get paid later on in in, in the future. That's that's the way I see it. Um, so a lot of people, a lot of newer players are afraid of um, upgrading their like four star gems. They think it's a waste of gold. Just, just do it. Even if it's like temporarily, even if you're going to um, get rid of it in two days, within these two days, you could have used this gem to um, progress faster and and farm more and gotten more runs in. Um, and most like you're most likely not going to replace them in two days because we're still like a, a ways from farming B8. We still need to go into um, Pagos Coast, and we need to farm up like more Mona. Well, actually, we don't need more Monas, um, but we, we need to farm. We need to level up our um, our Mona and Miho to max level and get them to like five stars, if we can. And uh, this this gem actually rolled pretty well. It rolled into defense. This is the kind of the right stats that we need. Um, there's only three stats you need in the in the beginning, like when you're looking for these gems. Uh, you you only need to have attack percent, defense percent, and HP percent. Everything else doesn't really matter that much in, in the grand scheme of things. You can't really effectively rely on crit rate and crit damage. Crit, I can't even talk. Crit damage. Da what the heck is damage? You can't rely on crit rate and crit damage at this point because your, your gems won't have a lot of crit. Even if you're using a crit gem, um, if that crit gem is not 6 star, your crit rate is not going to be that high so um even having high crit damage isn't isn't really going to help you at this point either so just don't be afraid just upgrade your gems and even if they're like this you're probably going to be using these for um for a while until your miho is um five star max level and then use you, you can start farming b8 afterwards at that point wait what day is it maybe it happened to be water day you can upgrade we can like feed some fruits into the, the water astromons. Just just upgrade them and start using them today. I just wanted to I'll, I'll get this one to like plus six. I'll get the other one to plus six as well. Actually, I'll get this one to plus nine. I'll get the other one to plus plus six. And then, um, in your own time, I would recommend you just take both of these to plus 12 as well. You don't need to necessarily take them to plus 15, because it's... Um, although it's a big boost, it's... It's still... 
like it's still significantly more money than than uh, getting a gem to plus 12. Like it's it's basically like two times or three times the money to <laughs> to get a gem to uh, to plus 15 versus um, you know getting it from like one to plus 12. So um, it's not like you you kind of have to have to weigh weigh your investments, you know, to, to see if uh, if it's really worth it. And I would say just getting to plus 12 is worth it, but getting it to plus 15 might be a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, we got this one to plus 9, I'll get this to plus 6. Um, because this is a 6-star gem, even if it's flat, it's still temporarily worth using. You can... If you really have good gems in the future, like you start farming BA and there's no gem removal day, um, you can just overlap these gems. You don't need to take them off or anything. It's actually more expensive to remove them. So you can just actually overlap them. Um, although six star gems do sell for a, a bit, it's still more expensive to, to take them off. So I guess you can just overlap them. All right, this one has HP. Um, preferably, you want it to roll into HP so you can get some bonus HP subs. Um, it's an evil two ran at plus six. If you have the gold in the future, I would definitely recommend skill, skill booking her as well. She she will be used in your B10 team, so this is definitely worth doing. Um, it's it's worth like it's worth max skilling your your water your water miho. Let's see what gems these are. Uh, you're gonna need to farm more gems because I'm I'm recommending that you put your mono on triple attack as well. Let's see if we can get a attack gem. All right, we'll overlap this one. But recovery is not really useful. We'll take this to plus six, and then um, in your own time, try to try to get two more attack gems, and just put it on the Mona. Um, you could use a conviction set. You could go into seabed caves and caves and farm protection set. Honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like even if you use a broken set, um, the twenty percent from from conviction isn't gonna help you too much in BA anyways. So it's like it's just not it's not worth the time. Like it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. You shouldn't you shouldn't give too much of a shit about it. It's it's only temporary. We'll give this to plus nine and then we'll we'll go into Pago's coast again and I think we'll be able to do it a lot better than um than we were doing it previously. All right, we got a we got a resist roll, which is I guess I guess it's all right. Oh, what gem is it gonna give? All right, we can I guess we can keep that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so um, I think it's I think it's dark day or is it fire day? So let's see if you have any fruits. Wait, she's not max level, but she has the better gems. All right, you don't have a lot of fruit, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to level your uh, your miho up to max. Um, in the meantime, you can also farm farm two square slot gems. They can be any set; doesn't really matter. Like, just use a broken set. It doesn't the the twenty percent from conviction isn't really gonna help you too much, anyways. Um, B eight doesn't have a lot of like threatening debuffs. It's still it's nice to have, but it's like it's kind of whatever. I think he does, yeah. Like recovery down, stun. It's it's like forty percent for one turns. It, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna kill you. Um. Also, the same thing for your your Valk and and Odin. Um, if you can get some gleams, I would definitely buy purchase the water gleams for the for the this week. And just gleam your Valk, because the, the Valk is probably going to be the last one that you replace. You're probably going to replace the Odin first, because she's a balance type, so she doesn't have as much um, damage as the Valk. You want the Valk to do more damage, and she also has Predator on first skill, so she's going to be able to hit really hard. Um, in, and she's already, like, you know, 5 stars max level. So, basically, just throw in two more gleams, and eventually you can use her in the future as well, so she's, she's still useful there. Um, like, she's useful all the way to late game. So just throw in two more gleams, make her evil three, 
And uh, I guess these four star gems are good enough. This one's crit damage. Yeah, like you have no crit rate, so like crit damage isn't really useful at all. Probably like in a free removal that you can remove this and then just sell it. This gem is not really all that good. Um, and then just like replace it with an attack gem. You don't need recovery. Yeah, even if you replace it now, it's it's fine. Like you'll you'll make that money back. Um, but I won't do I won't do that right now. You can you can uh, you can do that in your own time as well. And just basically gem them all attack. Like it just you don't need any defense. I used to think you need one slot HP, but you don't really even need that. Just go full attack. Um, yeah, and after you you uh, you go through Pagos Coast and um, get your Mona and Miho to like 5-star five, five max level and hopefully by the time you might be able to Evo through your Miho so she, she's a lot stronger and maybe get some skill books to feed into her so she you know she becomes even more OP and then um, you can start doing doing Golems B8 right, let's, let's just see how close you are right now I feel like you're actually pretty close like this this stage takes pretty much nothing it's, it's, it's super easy even the mobs in this stage are super squishy. So, like, if you have a lot of attack, um, you will be able to, like, one-shot a lot of them with water monsters. Alright, these two are too squishy. They're only, like... This one's only level 30, and then she's only level, uh... She's only level 3 or something. But as you can see, your your Odin and Valk are, are already doing very well. So all, all we really need to do is Evo through your, your Valk and basically get these two's levels up so they can start actually doing something in this stage. Because your other two are going to be, especially because right now you don't, your Valk is missing attack gem. Your Odin's still gem with like defense and stuff, which is really kind of unnecessary. If you have enough attack and once you get your blue souls up, like this is just going to happen. You're just going to be nuking down the whole entire stage all the way to the boss and then you're gonna nuke down the boss as well and this is why you don't need any any sort of like defense at all because um, the base stats of an evil 2 nat 5 is just gonna be tanky enough for you to to survive it yeah we can already like beat him now so it's like yeah like BA is a joke all right BA is a joke um, fortunately, he didn't do any weird thing to my to the to the Odin, and we were able to kill him. So yeah, all you need to do is level them up. Don't really worry about gems. I would replace some of the gems that you have temporarily into all attack gems, and uh, and then this way they they will be able to nuke down the whole entire stage. And even if you're just using like four star broken set gems, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to be using them temporarily until you start farming BA a lot more. And then once it starts dropping a whole bunch of really um, good, or not really good, but like at least six star um, square gems, you can start. You can start using those gems to gem up your Miho and your Mona because your Mona has two square slots, and your Valk has also has one square slot, so you can uh, replace that one with a six star gem as well. And then, um, in the meantime, while you're farming Pagos Coast and leveling up your Mona and Miho, you can try to hunt and try to build a second Mona, um, and see if you can get one with, like, triple square. If you can get one with triple square, then it'll be, it'll be, like, 100% ideal. And while farming BA, all you need to do is get three good square gems, slap it onto that Mona, and that Mona is going to be, like, super, super strong. Um, you can eventually take that Mona into B B10 and use that as your like wave clear nuker um, for B10. Same thing with a Miho, you can start using it as your sapper for B10 once you get there. Um, the team I recommend, like the types of team I recommend for, for B10 is, is uh, let's see what you got. Hmm, do you have any good healers? B10 might be a little bit too early. You can probably use a use a normal healer for B10 as well in the future. Um, I have a lot of old videos where I'm trying out like a single light tank team, but uh, the three units, the three units that you want to use, like you definitely want to use, are light Nike, light, 
light, uh, well not light, uh, water, water Miho and water Mona. This one's not ideal because it has one, one, uh, what was this, diamond slot. Um, you can try to get one with like all, all square. Actually, you might still need to go back and farm diamonds anyways. And you actually might still need to go into B9 because very, very unfortunately, like, like this is kind of unfortunate that your, uh, your Nike has no square and also has two triangles. So you need to definitely try to, unless like there, there is a, there is like one chance that you have to skip B9, and it's that if you can somehow, um, I think Kana might work as a fourth, even though she's only evil two, she actually might, might still work. Um, see if you have anything else. Note the rest are all just farmable monsters. There's not really anything to use in this uh, this rebirth. Actually, Light Seedler is pretty good as well. Light Seedler is another aggressor. You can do a double aggressor tank with no heal. That works, but it's not as good as um, having an actual healer. So I actually might still use the Dark Kana, even though she's only evil too. Um, so I was thinking, do a double, do a double aggressor tank. So you can split up the, the, the damage between the two, um, between your Nike and your and the Seedler, and then just have the Mona do the wave clear and then the Miho do the do the sapping. Or actually if you want to run a double aggressor, you can go uh, you can go these two and then run like two water Mihos like max guild as well. But then you need to get a second water Miho that has good slots. So um, that that could be a challenge as well. But there's a lot of teams you can run for B10. Um, but for now, the units that you definitely do want to use in B10 is your your Light Nike and your um, your Miho. This is like pretty far in the future after you farm BA for a while. Um, after you farm BA for a while, you can actually use the same team that you're using for BA. And once you like six star um, this monster or this one, and maybe if you even want to six star, I would actually recommend six starring one of your Water Monas. Um, if you if by the time you have a lot of other Monas and you have like the resources to make a six star, and you have you can't find one that has triple square, I would just six, I would just six star this one, and you can take your your B eight team and just throw them into B seven because B seven is water. So you also have like your element. Basically, if you're using like a full water team against a full water team and your stats are good, um, it's still gonna work out because you're just elemental neutral against uh, the the water team. You can replace uh, one or two of your units with uh, with one of your wood monsters as well in the future if you're if you're gonna be farming B seven, um, and then and then um, you know try to get get a few diamond slots for some of your key units like your like this one. See if you can get like a six star um, defense percent diamond slot to, to put onto there, and then like if you're planning to use Kana in the future, you want to use you want to get like two attack um, diamond slots and see if you can get something with like high crit rate. Maybe not. Like if you just try to get like any attack that has like some crit substats, and then and then put them on her and then go like crit rate double attack on like a broken set, it would still work. Um, and then just go like triple attack on her. She. All her gems are in B8 because she's triple square, and then you can replace this like one gem with another good diamond slot once you once you're at that point. So the order is you start farming B8 first, and then you go down and you start farming, uh, you farm B7 for a bit until you have all the diamond slots that you need. And then um, if by that time you you were like really unlucky, um, you didn't get any six star defense gems in your clan battles or in um, bingo or anything like that then you eventually you still need to go into B9 and do a little bit of farming um, because she she actually requires it I don't know if your other if you can it shouldn't be too difficult just like it can be any set it can be any set and it, it, it can be it can have the worst substats possible but as long as it's a six star defense you need two of them you need two six star defense um, gems for these two slots and then she'll be perfect and then you can use her um, you know alternatively if you don't want to do that there's another thing you can do you can get two light seedlers and if they don't have any triangle slots you can use those two and then just go with the water Mona lead because since you're using two aggressors anyways um, your 
you're not gonna need the uh, you're, you're not the 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 attack lead doesn't even work for aggressors. So it's the same thing if you you're, you're using a water attack lead than a normal attack lead. Um, so you just throw in these two, and then like two light sealers that could also work for B10. Or even without a leader skill, just go with the resist lead, like two two water mihos, and then like two light sealers that could also work. But ideally, you want to use her for her attack lead. If you can um, fuse a few Nikes and then try to get the attack, that would be that would be pretty nice as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's kind of it for progression. You don't you're uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty linear. It's pretty straightforward. Um, for Asmon League, you. I don't think there's much you can do with your team right now. It's pretty much just uh, use whatever monsters that have like the, the best gems. So that same exact team you're going to be using for, for Pegos Codes for B8, you can um, temporarily use that. You want to aim for people with like a lot of fire units, so maybe a team like this. But then, then again, he's level 53, so you might not have the have a good chance of beating him. Um, but you can you can try to beat everybody else that has like a, a fire team or something like that. Like maybe. Yeah, just like bully someone like this. Um, basically, you just want to get it. You just want to get your weekly gleam. That's that's all you need. That's really all you need in PvP. Um, clan battles, I would do every single one that I can, because clan battles have a chance to drop gems. So you can actually, if you're really lucky, you can get like two triangle six star defense percent gems through clan battles. And that will help you like completely skip B9. So if you can if you can pull that off, then um, that that would actually be 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 for the best. But yeah, that that is that is pretty much it. Um, you can you, I think you can already pretty much farm B7. You just want to you just want to start farming B8 now with uh with like a slightly better team. Like this is this is a water mono with like. Yeah, like she has like one attack gem, another flat defense. Like so even something like this is like good enough for B8. So you can just like we'll, we'll just we'll just borrow his Mona. Just use something like this, and then you'll start you'll start like one shotting the waves very very soon if you have them like all on triple attack. If you can one shot the waves, then it becomes stable because you know dead units can't do damage. You even have to Odin for CC, so like, whoever she hits, she's just gonna stun on first turn, so that also helps a lot as well. Um, the other reason why Mona's is really good for this is not only that she has very high attack, she also has the morale boost, which means that um, after like the first turn, you're, if you're using, especially if you're using multiple Mona's, it's very likely that one of them is gonna get their bars like completely full. And what that means is, you know, if you can get it, get their bars to to like completely fill up, they're gonna do the AOE. Um, they're gonna kill everything, generate a lot of blue souls, and then the AOE chain is just gonna keep going until you get to the boss, and you'll just AOE down the, the last wave. You'll AOE, AOE down the boss and basically win the game. Yeah, you, you probably need a lot more attack to like fully auto this. On a lot of your units, um, you know, basically like Odin's like missing two gems right now. The Val Valk is missing one gem. And your your Miho is like level three, but you can see how squishy the boss is, right? So like, imagine if you had them had all the had your Valk at evil two, had uh, had her at uh, evil three, had your Mona at evil three, like five star max level, had her fully skill booked, and then everybody has like full plus twelve attack gems. Uh, you can very very likely like one shot the the, the golem in, in one turn so you know that's that's definitely something you can do um, all right so that is that is pretty much it for for this account review hopefully this helped you guys out and especially if you're new um, you can you can kind of follow the same advice or the same way to progress and if you need help, you can hit me up on Discord. We can we can do these account reviews. I'll do them in between my other videos, like Monster Spotlights, summoning videos, or guide videos. I try to mix them up. Like I I try to not have the same type of content like per, uh, one after the other. I try to like have something different every video, and then like I just alternate between them. Um, 
But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I haven't done this in, in a long time. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.